I'm a professor at the University of Tours in France. After you have been working for 10 years on the same subject, I think it was time to change the field of interest. I decided to consecrate myself to environmental economics and migration policies. Yes, the problem is that uh, if you don't have, this, they provide a rationale for an amnesty in the sense that uh, if there were no fixed up in revenues, there would be no amnesty in the sense that uh, you will uh, expel almost all the migrants because they just uh, apport uh, a give uh, this utility and no utility. But the, the unique source, source of utility that is uh, provided by the immigrants are fiscal revenues. And so if there is a rationale for keeping some migrants into the country, it is thanks to the fact that they are going to pay taxes. And commitment, the problem is, as I, as I, as I try to explain in the paper, that uh, the poorest uh, migrants, they are, in any case, the government tried to make them to emerge from the black market, but since the fiscal revenue is very low, the government has incentive to expel them. So this is not credible and if there, 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 there does not exist a commitment technology, so the, the poorest uh, migrants, they will not even emerge from the black market, they will stay in the black market, so everybody will lose. Actually, the commitment problem, as I explained in the previous question, it is a problem such that does not provide an incentive to uh, most part of the people, of the migrants, to emerge from the black market. At the, on, on, at the same time, we have seen that uh, even uh, uh, without comm commitment technology, the, the, the government, as we have seen, has the, the incentive to expel a part of them, so to do not accept their own application. And so the, the rejection rate it is not equal, it's not equal to zero, but it is quite important. It's around 30% according to the country. I think that this is a maybe use this research center. I, I have been very, very happy and proud to be here. I try to do my best because the public was very selective, very, very, very participative. And uh, I think that uh, for me it was very important to present this paper, which is still uh, in progress, mm, to a public which is so competent as people belonging to this research center. And so thank you very much to this center because uh, really it's one, one, an excellent center, one of the best that I've ever seen in my life.